So the operation of the OAI Model 200 mask aligner. So we will first we will open up the mask holder and raise it up so we can place our substrate on there, which we had already on there, but we can place our wafer on there. Turn on the substrate vacuum to hold the wafer in place. We can then lower down the mask holder. We can then now bring our optics into the system. Now we will make sure our ball vac is unlocked and we will raise the wafer by turning the knob clockwise until we touch the mask. You'll feel a, a roughness or notchiness in the knob when the clutch is slipping when it's touching the mask. At that point we will turn our ball vac on and now we can dial back the Z just a little bit so we have move to, uh, clearance to move or in the X and Y direction. Now if we look at our monitors, we can see that we can move our wafer separate from our mask. At this point, we will use our alignment marks, which in this case we don't have matching ones, but we'll use our alignment marks to align in X, Y, and theta. We have theta also that can rotate the wafer. Once we are happy with our theta, X, and Y alignment, we will then move our optics to the rear of the system again, all the way. And then we will move the um, alignment stage over to the bottom of the light source. When we do that, we will then have our timer here, which right now is set to 15 seconds. Count down. Um, if we wanted to change that mode, we have two modes. We have 100 seconds, which is would be 99.9 or a thousand seconds which would be 999 seconds which is the mode we're in right now if we move uh, to 100 seconds our decimal point moves over one spot so now we can have 99.9 or we're going to have um, 999 so in this case we'll do 15 seconds so when i move the uh, the alignment module over to here the shutter will automatically open for 15 seconds and then close Once the shutter has closed, we can bring our alignment module back over to the right-hand side. We can lower down our wafer, and then we can raise up our mask holder, turning off our substrate vacuum and our ball vac, and removing the wafer. 